Greetings, salutations, it's me, James, your BA Sensei, back with another Power Query tutorial! Well, in today's video, we're gonna look at this very common use case, and you might have seen data sets like this, where you have a double barrel header. In this case, we got, at the top, we got a merged, couple of merged cells for each portfolio, Berkshire, Bill Gates Foundation, and Skion Capital, right? We got the Tesla, or we got the stock codes here, like Tesla, Apple, Microsoft, and then underneath each of these portfolio codes, which is the merged cells, we got the actual headers with the actual data in it. You, you can see it's not consistent right through each portfolio. So what we want to do is we want to take this double barrel data set like this and convert it into this beautiful table over there. We're going to learn a lot of new Power Query functions doing this. So let me show you how to do it. All right. The very first step is we need to get this data into Power Query. So you select your data set, just highlight it, go to data, Say from table or range. Now in this pop-up, just unselect this my table as headers because you don't want the headers and you say, okay. Now this opens Power Query for us. So now you can see it added this change type step automatically. I don't want that. I'm just gonna say, no thanks, delete. The next step, what I wanna do is I wanna isolate the actual content from the double barrel header. So I'm gonna add a step and in this step, I'm gonna say table first n, yes, to give me from my table, I wanna get the first two rows of data, which is the bu double barrel header. I'm gonna say, all right, there it is. Next thing I wanna do there is I wanna take this data set and transpose it so I only have two columns. So I'm gonna say table transpose. Yeah, and now I only have two columns. So what I'm gonna do here is, I'm gonna press F2 on the step name. I'm just gonna call this the double barrel header. So now you can see the obvious problem is I wanna take each of these portfolio nows and fill it down for each of these column names over there for column two. How do I do that? I'm just gonna add a new step. I could do it in this step, but for the sake of this video, to keep the code nice and clean, I'm gonna add a new step. I'm gonna say table, fold down, give it the table reference, which is a double barrel header step. And you need to give it columns as a list, okay? So I can just use table column names and refer to the double barrel header data set, close it out. And now it folds it down, beautiful. I'm gonna say F2 and rename this to fold down, yeah. Okay, so now that we have that, what I wanna do is I wanna take these two columns and combine them as one, but with a delimiter in between. Once again, you could do it in this step. We could actually do it all in one step, but for the sake of this video, I'm gonna do it very simply and show it in different steps. So I'm gonna add a new step and in here, it's gonna create a little bit more space. We are gonna use table combine columns in order to combine the two columns. And I'm gonna to refer to fill down. So the next part of my function is what are the source columns in this list? That's gonna be simple. I'm gonna use table column names and I'm gonna to refer to the full down data set, which is the step we're referring to right now. Yes, add another comma. See, now it's looking for a combiner function. I'm just gonna say, Yes, for each row in this table, use text combiner, and we use the underscore, right? And I want to delimit that by a five character, right? And I can close the bracket. What do I want this new column to be called? I want this to be called merged, right? And I want to close it out. There we go, there we go. You can see this is actually a table, right? You can see that little icon, this represents a table. I want this to be converted into a list because the next function I require this to be a list. So I'm just gonna add in square brackets to convert this into a list. I'm just gonna take the column name and put it in the square brackets, yes, and say, okay. Now I see it's converted to a list. I'm gonna go refer back to custom, press F2 to rename this to combined header. Cool, now we have that. Now that we've dealt with the header and we've created like a unique key value for each header, for each element in the double barrel header over there, I wanna now look at the actual content. So in this step, I'm gonna to refer to the source. Right, so now there's a source. I wanna exclude the header, so I'm gonna say table skip, skip the first two rows of data. There we go. So now we have the data isolated from the double barrel header over there. Now there's a pretty cool 
cool function where I can convert every single column here into a list. The reason why I want to do that is because it's got a great property when I put it back together to indicate a column name, which I'm just going to use this combined inner for. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say table two columns, which will basically convert each one of these columns into a list. You see each of these columns have now been converted into an ordered list. The reason why I did that you're going to see now is because I can take this now. So I'm just going to now start there with the table from columns because I'm going to start kind of rebuild it again from a list back into a table. And I'm going to say you can see what are the column names because we got the combined header already combined header, which is that previous step. It now magically just added the combined header to each of the fields. Isn't that cool? Isn't that cool? So we're very close to what we need to achieve. Okay, I'm just going to call this table with header. Now, quite simply, all I need to do is I need to right click on this table over there, right and say, unpivot other columns. Isn't that cool? Isn't that cool? Okay, so next thing I want to do is this attribute, which is actually the, the combined header name, what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on this, and I'm going to say, split this column by a delimiter and the delimiter it will sense it being the pipe and you say, yes, it is the pipe. So now you can see, let just remove this change type over there. If you go back, attribute one, if we look at the split function that we created, let's call this the portfolio name and attribute two is just the context. The values. Yes, there we go. I just want to convert this into a decimal. That's the actual value. And now that we have that, I can just simply tick the context and Alt Shift and click the value, go to transform and say pivot column. And the value is obviously the value column over there. I say yes. And there you have your data set. There you have your data set. All we now need to do is go to home and say close and load. And there is your data set. Isn't that cool? Isn't that cool? So now in this video, you learn some excellent, excellent new Power Query functions, how you can convert things into lists, and then use the properties of lists and rebuild them as tables in order to get rid of that pesky, pesky double barrel header over there. Well, BA Sensei, signing out.